Hi everyone. So I just wanted to show you what I've been working on recently and then I've got some channel update stuff at the end of the video. So I've pretty much finished the item getting system. Um, it also adds the item to his inventory now and I, for testing purposes I set his inventory space to like two. So he can pick up two items out of the three in this room and he can't pick up the last one. So let me show you. It's a first aid kit. You never know when it might come in handy. Take the first aid kit. Now you notice that the name of the item is colored now. I added a custom system so that I could um, tag the different types of items and give them each unique items. So unique colors sorry so right now the consumable tag means that the text will be green for any consumable item and then yeah you took the first aid kit <laughs> and so this is not consumable this is a key item so it's some kind of badly modeled head uh, and yeah i made the key items pink for some reason Glad I don't look like that. Maybe I'll keep it for good luck. Take the head. I'm gonna just show you no, so I can show you what it's like if you don't have space. So over here is the radio. It's a radio, also a key item. Wonder if it works. Take the radio. Yes, you took the radio. Okay, so now his inventory is full. So if I try and pick up the head now, it's some kind of badly modeled head. Glad I don't look like that. Maybe I'll keep it for good luck. Take the head, you don't have enough space in your inventory and then it just stays there. So yeah, the system itself is pretty much finished. The only other thing I need to add is a use command for consumables in case you don't have space but you still want to use the first aid kit or something and that's it. I also added these uh, nice camera transitions here. Like the old level I built was pretty much just transitions between rooms, but I was looking back on some old RE footage and stuff and I remembered that, yeah, you get, when you get closer to certain items, it kind of brings you closer, which goes, well, it helps you <laughs> kind of um, around the fixed camera angles, I guess. It helps you see closer. Yeah. So uh, anyway, channel update stuff. Let me just restart this so that I can uh, do something while I'm talking about the channel. So uh, as far as the channel goes, I'm thinking about changing the format of my videos a bit because at the moment it's not exactly, uh, th there's no real structure to them and they're just kind of whatever I feel like and I feel like it's not that useful for people. Not that everything has to be useful, but what I was thinking about doing was having videos that are kind of short and sweet, like I do release sometimes, which are just videos literally of the new things I've added in the game. And then I was thinking about having these kind of longer, more complex videos for people who are interested in how exactly I did it. So it will be stuff about architecture and how things are connected up in code because a few people were commented or one person I know at least that it was helpful to see how the uh, one system was put together but even that video was kind of half asked when it come to explaining things so I was thinking about going full ham and just kind of making it simple but you know finding some really good um, way to <laughs> show how everything's connected to hopefully help people who might need an idea about architecture because uh, the game architecture stuff I think is probably one of the most um, mm, subjective things and like everyone says how you should do it in general terms but as far as like specific implementations and stuff it's uh, it's all up in the air about what to do so what I do is not like what you should do, but maybe you'll see it and you'll think, oh, I could use something like that in my game. Because, you know, I've come to realize that a lot of people that watch um, channels like these are probably game devs themselves. And a lot of people I've talked to anyway who watch this channel are game devs. 
So it would be good to um, give something to them because obviously they're not just interested in the progress of my game. They're probably looking to make games of their own or already in a project of their own. So yeah, hopefully the new content will help people like that. And then the, there will also be live streams coming soon. So um, within the next few weeks, I'm going to do the first one, I think. And I'm guessing it's going to be something art related. So yeah, if you want to if you want to come along to that, join the Discord and I'll let you know when I go live. Anyway, I don't want to keep you too long, but I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.